Hi everyone, welcome to Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is the Uno's Tastefuls. Eight hearty pepperoni calzone cuts. This is the wholesale club version, guys. Eight of them, $9.99 a box. I'm ready to get this out of the box, see how they look, see how they cook. We're gonna pop these in the microwave, and then we're gonna get these into my belly. Here we go. Once again, this is the Uno Tastefuls. Tastefuls. See that? And just in case you weren't getting the whole gimmick of it being tasteful, on the back gives a little definition there. Let me read this. Uno Tastefuls. Number one, delectable Uno restaurant quality. Number two, chock full of goodness. And number three, derived from the ancient word tasteful. I gotta tell you, Maybe I'm a little cynical today, but um, they, they're trying really hard to have a certain attitude to this thing. It's, they're just not pulling it off. Uno's Tastefuls, once again, this is the wholesale club version. $10 a box for eight of them. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty big box. I've never seen these individually, and I've never seen them in a smaller box in the freezer aisle. So I cannot tell you whether it only comes in this size or whether this is just the, the mega... Costco size uh, thing. Now I would say also, uh, I'm not sure if they have this at Costco. I'm a member of the lovely named BJ's Wholesale Club, uh, and uh, so I'm not sure if they have this in, in Costco. So, Uno Tastefuls, eight hearty pepperoni calzone cuts. I have no idea what that means. Does it mean it's not sealed on one side? I mean, is this what I'm seeing and it's exposed on both sides? We're not gonna know until we pull it out of the box. The other thing, these are handmade. I, in this day and age, uh, I'm shocked by this. Handmade. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Personally, when I'm thinking about microwave food, frozen food, it doesn't, you know, chicken pot pies are one thing, but handmade for something like this, I can only imagine the types of people who are actually putting their paws all over this pepperoni before they stick it in the box. So I'm not sure handmade is actually a, a strong selling point when it comes to frozen food. What do you think about that? I'm not sure. Now, good to go, okay. All natural crust loaded with premium pepperoni and mozzarella cheese, zero grams trans fat, taste conscious any way you slice it. There are all sorts of crazy messages going on here, but I wanna talk about what we got here. This looks like um, like a, a nice pizza crust on the outside. We got some, you know, some salt and pepper on top. Inside, just tons and tons of pepperoni. Now look at this random, either piece of tarragon or pine leaf, uh, pine tree branch. I don't know what that's there. I, I, it's probably tarragon. Here's another thing: serving suggestion. So apparently, according to the box, serving suggestion are three of these and a little fig leaf. Okay, I'm all out of, you know, leaves. I'm not gonna go outside and go cut a, a branch down. Uh, so I'm gonna kinda take their word for it and probably evaluate with these three uh, guys instead of you know, kinda avoid the, the branch. Okay, individually wrapped, keep frozen, eight pieces. Total net weight, 32 ounces. Okay, now, on the back of the box. Cooking directions, in the microwave, unwrap product and insert into crisping sleeve, place on paper plate and microwave on high. Use tear strip to remove, remove product from crisping sleeve and wait two minutes before eating. Great, nutritional facts. Calorie, this is per serving and per serving. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Okay, servings per container, eight, that's good. But normally they say serving size like one thing, right? But it says serving size, 114 grams. I thought I was gonna have to do the math, apparently I don't. There's eight of these individually wrapped, there's eight servings in this container per serving. 
360 calories, 190 from fat, 21 grams of total fat, 9 grams saturated fat, 50 milligrams cholesterol, 1,040 milligrams of sodium, 27 grams total carbs, 1 gram dietary fiber, 2 grams sugar, 18 grams protein. Let's get these out of the box. Let's see if there's an opening. I don't think so. I'm going to have to tear open the side. And here you go. Look at that. It is exposed. I'm going to try not to get the glare. It is exposed on both sides, as you can see. Um, this is, you know what it looks like, is like when you get um, frozen French bread, like a loaf, and you're cutting them into pieces. This is about two inches wide and about one, two, three inches tall. Um, and it looks like someone took a calzone and, and cut it up. I'm going to tell you, let's take it out. First off, you got uh, a nice, nice little crisping sleeve. That's always nice. Now, mmm, see that? It's packed full of cheese and pepperoni. Smells really good. The outside of this smells like one of those brown chashu baos that you get in Chinatown. I don't know why, why am I dropping all these Chinatown references lately? But uh, it's just something that I'm smelling, you know? It smells like chashu bao, and that's, that's a good thing in my book. Hint of sugar that I smell in the crust. That's about all I got for now. I'm gonna stick this in the crisping sleeve, stick it in the microwave, and when we come back, I'm gonna tell you how it tastes. Welcome back. So I've taken this out of the microwave, and you know, I typically take these things out of the crisping sleeve before I come back on this segment and then tell you how it tastes. But I need to show you this. This is what happened when I took it out of the microwave. As you can see, the way the uh, this calzone sticks inside the crisping sleeve, it basically, because it's exposed, right? It's not a pocket, it's uh, sliced on both sides, it's a cut. Um, it basically, the cheese and pepperoni grease just really like, oh, really did a number. Look at the bottom, oh my God. So, um, and then look at the plate. It's just nasty. It's, I gotta tell you, it's not appetizing at all. Now, as you recall, the directions was to use this little zipper pull, and you know, I'm using the zipper pull. Oh, God. Look at that, that is just greasy. Ugh. Now, cheese, look at this. It's just, it's, it's just stuck, and there's like tons of, oh. Okay, now pepperoni pizza is not 100% great for you. It's not even close. It's not even 10% good for you. It tastes awesome though. Uh, so you kind of forgive that. But when you look at something like this, let's look at the other side. When you look at something like this, this really doesn't do, you know, you, you don't want to see this. You already know that you're, you're eating something that's not all that great for you. You don't need to see a sloppy, greasy mess inside the crisping sleeve. Not happy with that at all. And then when you look at the nutritional facts, this is high in fat, high in cholesterol, high in sodium um, for this little, little itty bitty cut. Okay? I would say that if I was looking for a full meal already, I can tell you, I'd want three of these. You know, at the minimum, two of them. And that's like 88% of your daily sodium. That's like, uh, let's see how much of your total fat. 65% of your total fat just for two of these, okay? Now, let's talk about smell. The mozzarella cheese is just overpowering the smell right now. I do pick up pepperoni. I do still pick up a little bit of that sweet pastry crust that I was talking about earlier. But the, the cheese, the combination of the grease from the pepperoni and the grease from the cheese is just overpowering it right now. It just feels and looks greasy. Now, it looks awesome. It looks like something you get at, at um, like some pizzerias and stuff like that. It's really hot. I'm gonna tell you how it tastes. Remember guys, man, uh, woman hands. I'm gonna tell you how it tastes.
has a lot of pepperoni in there and I like it. That is really, really good in terms of how much they stuff pepperoni. I must admit, when I took it out of the sleeve, I was like, man, that, that doesn't look that stuffed like it did on, on the um, package. When I bit into there, I bit into, yeah, like seven pieces of pepperoni right there in the end. There's a lot of pepperoni, just enough cheese in there. But I'll tell you, like, you know, like when you bite something, sometimes it's extra greasy and you feel the greasy film like on your upper lip, it just makes you feel like your face is gonna break out and your like little things are gonna just start sliding off your face. It's like butter face. Well, I guess butter face is a totally different thing. It's like oil face. I don't like oil face. Do you like oil face? Um, it tastes really good, but this is like jam packed. I mean, look at the glisten there, right? Jam packed with the grease. I gotta tell you, for taste, I'm really impressed. For portion, eh, it's okay. But for the way it makes you feel, which, let's face it, is, is a good portion of how you're going to enjoy a meal, especially a frozen meal. In terms of the way it makes you feel, I feel really gross right now. I feel like greasy and it's almost like reminding me of all the crap I'm stuffing in my body. That part, I don't like. And unfortunately, that's gonna influence my review. This is the Uno's Tastefuls, hearty pepperoni calzone cuts. A box of eight is $9.99 a box. Again, great taste, um, really like pumped full of the stuff they said it would be. I didn't rock it with the, uh, with the little pine tree going on there, um, but it really just makes me feel greasy. Like I need to go like hose my face down right now. Uh, and because of that, I'm gonna dock at some points. I give this a solid three star. As always, I'm your host Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns, and I'll see you next time.